Uh, hello everybody. Uh, in this video I'm going to be testing out the new implementation of D-Log uh, that was released with the latest firmware uh, just a few days ago. And this first clip is the raw footage, uh, no processing whatsoever, just uh, clipped and, and put into uh, Premiere Pro. And you can see there's banding in the sky, even with the raw clip. So what I then did was copied this clip another two times and in the other clips do some additional processing like contrast stretching as you need to do with D-Log. And the banding becomes more obvious as you do contrast stretching. You can see it in the raw footage but it's there also in um, even more so once you do contrast stretching. But this is, so this is the raw footage, no adjustments whatsoever, no color grading, no sharpening, uh, just, you know, trim the length, basically. So uh, this is the raw footage, and in just a few seconds we'll be panning over to, or going to the, the same clip, but processed with some curves and contrast stretching. Again, you can see the uh, banding in the sky. It's less obvious in the raw footage than it is in the... Um, contrast stretch. Okay, this is the, the, the second clip. Again, it's the same clip, but now I've done some contrast stretching to it, and you can see the banding is more obvious in the sky. Uh, so this is uh, the, the second clip. I have a third clip as well, which does even more contrast stretching. So this is probably a, a bit less than the contrast stretching I might do in a, in a real video. Um, and in the third clip, I go maybe a little further than I would do in a real video. So um, this is probably closer to what I would I would normally do uh, for a video that I would be making. And again, you can see the banding in the sky is more obvious with the uh, contrast stretching than with the raw footage. But it's there in the raw footage as well. So Premiere Pro isn't making this banding. It's there to begin with. So coming to the end of this clip, um, I, I should say that the uh, D-Log is easier to use now. The uh, histogram is uh, more useful and you, you can see easier with the, the FPV screen. But, um, you know, this banding is not something I can tolerate. So uh, I'm not seeing this banding with um, D-Cine like and I haven't had enough testing with the new version of D-Cine like and I'm not sure if that's actually been changed. But um, in the, this day that, with a, that I shot this video, I also did a couple of flights with D-Cine like and I didn't see any banding using D-Cine like so this is the third clip, which is perhaps a tad more contrast stretching than I would normally employ in a finished video, but not excessively. This isn't like, you know, really exaggerating contrast stretching, but as you can see, the banding is even more noticeable than the second clip and certainly more noticeable than the first or raw clip. So we're talking the same footage, exactly the same footage, uh, repeated three times with uh, raw footage, um, modestly processed contrast stretching, and then more heavily processed contrast stretching. So um, they've made some improvements in the usability of D-Log, but this banding makes it unusable for me. So D-Cine-like is still my go-to color profile. Thanks for watching.